So the most thing, important thing for us at East York Baseball is throwing the ball properly. Once you've got good throwing motion, you're set for life. So we like to joke to younger players, do you need to be taught how to hold a spoon anymore? No, I'm set for life. Do you know how to hold a fork properly? Yes, I'm set for life. Same with throwing. So the classic coaching expression is, the body delivers the arm, and the arm delivers the ball. What that means is, my hand thrusts down, and just as it starts to crest up, I turn my torso. So you hear coaches use the term down and around. It comes down, and then around. You'll see a lot of younger players not bend their elbow. They'll kind of go like this, as if they're kind of throwing cricket style or a grenade, but ultimately they'll get a feel for it. So you take your thumb, down towards your thigh, fingers on top, and then rotate. So I'm not using any really of my arm energy. I'm using my much bigger core muscles to get my arm delivered. So I'm down and I turn. Now is when I have my elbow bent and I'm gonna use all of my arm muscles and all that tension that I've created over the center of my body is going to release out front. So it's down, turn, and around. Down, turn, and around. Down, turn, and around. We'll go through a few drills to help show that. So one really good drill to help younger players be, you know, get the habit of the down and around action, down and around, is to throw on one knee. I've put my glove under my knee just because I'm concrete. Ideally, the players would be throwing back and forth off one knee, and you as a coach, you can just watch them and just encourage them to come down and around and flip. Down and around and flip. Down and around and flip. You'll see each time my fingers are coming above the ball, and then I turn my torso and release out front. Down and turn. That's probably the best drill that you can do in order to really get a good view of your players doing some down and around. You notice that I kind of lean forward a little bit just as I'm releasing. You'll find sometimes young players want to keep their arms very straight. You'll find sometimes you want to have their head move for some reason. They'll turn their heads. No, my shoulder, my, my shoulder can move an awful lot without my head moving. My head can stay stable. It doesn't need to dip. Down and turn. Down and turn. Down and turn. Once they've got that form, they can be set for life. So another drill to really encourage good pitching form and to get your son or daughter a lot of reps, I know it's almost trite to show it, but it's just throwing a ball against a wall. One benefit of throwing the ball against a wall is you also don't, you're not playing catch with somebody in particular, so you don't have to worry as much about accuracy. You can really kind of heave it against a wall. A ball will not complain unless it's near a window if you make a bad throw. It'll hit the wall and bounce back. Just means you've got to chase after it. Another benefit of throwing a ball against a wall is then you've got a bit of a defensive ball coming back at you, and you can practice your ground balls. So thousands upon players, thousands have gotten stronger and stronger and stronger by just going out on their own time or while their parent is out walking the dog and just throwing a ball against a wall, right? Good form, down and around, turn and through. Then a bit of a bounce back. Obviously this isn't a perfect wall to do it, but just down and through. I got a bounce back coming. Practice my form and I'm gonna gradually back up and just keep on pounding that ball against a wall until it's in tatters, but my arm's a lot stronger and it's really helped me continue with my repetitive form.